uh, because we haven't really had a community discussion uh, that's just been open to everyone to give us what your thoughts are. But as we planned this meeting tonight, we went back and we looked at our mission statement. And our mission statement really has two very important parts to it. It's one is really to protect our community, uh, to keep it a, a safe place to live, particularly uh, from the fires. We have to be aware of, of the threat of fire and, and campsites um, in, in our bluffs. But the other very important part of, of our mission um, is to work with those homeless people in our community that really are residents of our community. They have been here for a long while, regardless of how or why or what, they are here. And the mission of the task force here um, is really to try to um, help our homeless people um, in a compassionate way access services that <coughs> will help them uh, find a pathway out of homelessness. If every community in Los Angeles City and Los Angeles County <coughs> decided to take this attitude and step up the way the Palisades has, provide funds, come out, become involved and educated, I think we might find the things started to change um, and that in the process we, we would change um, and that we would all feel good about what we're doing and we would also begin to manage, um, to manage this very challenging um, issue, problem. So um, we've been looking at the question of panhandling. Um, we've been struggling with it. Um, we know that panhandling will affect our ability to accomplish our mission or not, to stay true to our mission. Um, we learned, as Doug said at the opening of the meeting, that the most successful communities have had a conversation um, because they realized, they found out, just as I did when I did research, that there are a lot of different views about panhandling. Um, a lot of different views, and people hold these views passionately. So what we were hoping tonight is that we might hear from everyone on these questions, and then we might look at, is there any commonality amongst us um, that we could take away from tonight that could begin to give us a way of thinking about um, this question here in the Palisades, but also in a way that's consistent with our mission. So what we'd like to do is ask us all um, to respond to these the same questions and just hear what we all have to say. And then by the time we've worked our way through these questions, and we have about an hour and five minutes to do that, so let's see how it goes, um, then we'll see if we can draw any conclusions at the end of our discussion. And if not, we won't care. Let me ask for a show of hands. How many of you, at some time in your life, have given money to a panhandler? We're talking about, okay, put your hand up. Okay, a couple of you, a couple of you. How many of you now no longer give? What questions, concerns, conflicts do you have about giving money? How do I model compassion for my children if I don't give money? What do you say to people who maintain that the people on the street want to live that way and they have just as much of a right to live that way as we do. Is it right or can you actually stop? How do business owners react to someone holding a sign looking for a job? What can we give instead? Should I feel guilty by not giving money? What do you think of giving a bottle of water when asked for money? I, that question, is there something I can give other than money? Why not give? Does giving money make things worse? <laughs> <laughs> but how do I know I'm not helping? And aren't I really judging this person that I really don't know if I don't give him something? They specifically said, do not give money. Are you supporting that position? They came from OPCC, and it was uh, an article. Is that... Uh, are you as a task force supporting that position? I believe our task force has not taken an official uh, stand on that, and we did not want to do that until we started to have this conversation. Um, we do think um, we've had conversation where we believe there is wisdom in that, and you will have seen our signs that are up around town now that are saying, 
um, give real change, give to real change, not spare yeah. change. And that is a point of view um, that we believe is very important, but we don't want to get out ahead of ourselves. And that's why we, we don't want to assume anything. The opening comment here was, this task force belongs to all of us, and so we really want to hear um, what our community is thinking. But one of the things that I noticed is that when, you're, when we're giving money to folks, as, as good as you may think you're, you're doing for this person, really, I mean, again, I, I do things that are very selfish for me. I, I, I do things because it makes me feel good to help people and leave them in a better place than I find them. Problem is, when we're giving money, as nice as it feels at that moment, that instant gratification you feel for giving somebody some money to go do something with it that you know you don't want to judge them on, you're you, you're kind of putting them in a bad spot, you know, and they're going out and either purchasing alcohol or other things. What I see, and again, this is just for me as a human being, seeing what goes on with this task force and what we're doing, I get to see these folks' lives change, and it's and it's tangible change and move to the pros and cons. Let's now list all the reasons we should give. Right, Doug, just go where you want to go. The pros of giving, I want to follow up on what Rusty was saying. Since I work at the uh, Catholic Church, pros of giving, we're following what would Jesus do? I mean, basically, we're feeling good about ourselves, in essence. The cons, what happened was, instead of one or two homeless people or people who needed who were asking for money, we had 20 or more coming into our office because the word spreads. And we have a Catholic school, and it was, a, it was beginning to be a, a, a very da dangerous problem. I believe a pro would be food, water, and necessities of a shelter and cons would be alcoholism and drugs. Uh, the pros of giving, it gives a little uh, encouragement to some people that are really having a tough time. My, my name is Dory Jenkins. I'm a lifelong resident of the Palisades. My brother went missing in the late 1980s. I searched for him for two years. I found him in the morgue in Los Angeles. By the way, he never had a criminal record, and he died of starvation. Mm -hmm. Today, I give to all homeless. Mm -hmm. I don't scrutinize them. They could be somebody's brother, somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's father. They could be in your family, and they might go missing, and somebody else kept them alive. That's my gratitude. Everybody who's gotten money is still on the street and they are worse than they were before. Some of them are dead. The pros of giving is to show compassion and humanity, especially in a community like this, and that we recognize people who are sitting in a situation maybe much different than ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think the con is, um, is it just paying a little bit of lip service to somebody as opposed to truly, really trying to help them? taking it further along than just giving them money. That is, the, that, is, that is the struggle. You really captured that. That is the struggle. Uh, I think one of the, the pros that a lot of people think they're doing by giving money is by me giving them this money, they're not going to go and take it in a violent way. Um, oh, really? That's going to be a con. Uh, by, by giving, it, I've noticed in the Palisades community that it enables the person to stay and not accept services. I think you have to ask pro for who. Give money to people who are experiencing homelessness. So I'm not going to be a pro, but um, one of the cons uh, that I found in, in all the years is um, a lot of times when people get money, that money actually doesn't go for that person. Um, there are a lot of unseen predators, the pimps, the drug dealers, the loan sharks, the this, the that, that uh, that money goes to it um, as an obligation. And so a lot of that money doesn't even go to that person. It goes to the less, um, well, actually more invisible uh, people on the street, the predators, the, uh, law enforcement gets to deal with. So. Well, I'm not sure whether this is a pro or a con, actually, but 
I think by giving money, uh, it's a get out of jail pass for a lot of people. Oh, I've done my part. I, in other words, they, 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 they can write it off and they don't make any more responsibility. So I think it's, it's a, a dangerous, a slippery slope in a way. So oh, I think a pro could be that you don't know, you could be keeping something from a fatal withdrawal, especially with the dangers of alcohol. Okay? You, in supporting something, it's possible that you're keeping, you're helping not to have a problem. That is similar to, to the comment back here. The con is, of course, our right. enabling. There is a, a need, and we don't know whether there's a need or not. Now let's talk about what do we see panhandling doing on the Palisades, for the pa in the Palisades community. What is the impact that we see? Because this is the dilemma we're going to need to find a compassionate, thoughtful way to deal with here. Lots of questions generated by children. Okay, so this is just something I saw the other day um, for the first time in the Palisades. It was on sunset in front of Ralph's, and it was a family panhandling. It was a father, a mother, and two little girls. And I hadn't seen that before, and I think that that type of panhandling is going to have a really it's going to be really impactful in the Palisades, and I think it's going to pull on people's heartstrings. I think specifically the panhandling impact on the Palisades is that we are keeping some of the most entrenched, resistant people to services on the street. Um, they, have a, they have a relatively safe environment here. They have their immediate needs um, met, and by panhandling, that's the one thing that keeps them from accepting services. When they're successful, they attract other panhandlers. They've been a major annoyance to the churches. Hi, Jane. I, I've seen feces all over the Palisades. You see it at the beach, and I think that's a problem with panhandling. It's a broken windows theory. You know, a lot of the folks that are panhandling that are coming into the Palisades, one of the impact that it has, that we see, you have a lot of burglary from motor vehicles, a lot of these folks, when we go into their encampments, they have car batteries, motorcycle batteries, <coughs> your bicycles, your uh, things that you leave on, out on the porch. Bolt cutters. Yeah, they have bolt cutters. I mean, again, a lot of these folks are stealing things so that they can commit crimes against folks here in the Palisades. I'm not saying that's everybody, but again, you, it goes back to that broken windows theory. If you allow certain things to deteriorate, you let them... Uh, you know, somebody said defecation. I mean, there's a lot of things that go on that shouldn't go on. And again, what that does is that makes it very unsafe for the folks, the citizens, our business, and also the folks that are visiting the Palisades. What would those be? What kinds of things do we need to balance? How are we going to work on this? I'm going to go here and then right behind you. So first here. Yes. Yes. Um, I don't get my phone. Nice and loud. So we're um, well, the, I think the main conclusion is that one of the conclusions would be that you have to look at every scenario and every situation, every person individually. That's one list. You want to um, get this look at every person individually? Right, because they all need something different. You know, one might have a mental health issue, another one might have uh, a drug and alcohol issue. Another one might not have any of those kind of issues. Another one might just be, right. Or maybe another one could, is here to just steal, or, you know. So some judgment using, has to yeah, come into every decision. Every, yeah, everybody has to be individually looked at. I've lived in Palisades for a long time, and Santa Monica even longer. Is there a group who is interviewing other media communities to see what was successful yes. and failed? We have done that. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Give to alleviate our guilt. We need to give, and we want to be responsive, and we want to be able to engage with the person. We can give them a card, which we have, to help them say, you can get help. Um, I want you to have help. I want to be a part of your having help. The question is, uh, people still want to give somebody, and maybe a card is with uh, a power bar or something like that, okay? Food and a lot of it is educating the uh, public in the Palisades to know that the task force is out there and what we learned works and what helps them. With so a card along with a power bar or maybe a, a food um, 
ticket to um, McDonald's or or some sort of food uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ticket. Uh, summary, I want to say that um, a lot of people seem to say that they're giving because it makes them feel better or they feel they're helping the homeless. But in summary, it seems that it actually doesn't help them at all. Yeah. <laughs> I have three minutes. I just oh! <laughs> <laughs>